Hello you, it's Joshio. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today people, today I'll be showing you how to build these lovely screens in the background right here as well as actually showing you how to make your own decals so that you can have some custom screens right, screens right here. As you can see we've got three beautiful designs right here all varying in use of course. So let's just get straight on with it. So first of all I'm going to show you how to actually build these things and then I'm going to show you how to do the custom screens after that. So first we're going to be doing this little screen right here. This is just like a little small one you can plop anywhere basically. It's a bit more to scale than this one over here so let's get on with it. So what we're first going to do right here guys is we're going to grab a hanging flag right here. So if you just go into your others you can get a hanging flag right here. We're just going to place it in the middle. Now I'm going to just give a 2x2 two two grid right here. Although really you only need a one block. I'm just doing a 2x2 two two grid just to make it a little bit easier. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set our grid here to a half. We're going to just make sure that we have our precision build mode enabled and then we're just going to place this in like this now in here we're going to put default snapping and 45 degree angle and we're just going to rotate that round like that go into a quarter snapping and bring that up by two like so and there we go already we've got our flag in now this isn't actually where our flags are going to be exactly but this is just to make everything a lot easier and just to show that where everything's going to be going so next we're going to go into our primitives we're going to search for a pole actually because uh, it's easier and we're just going to grab a pole like this actually this one right here and we're just going to rotate that round by 45 degrees we're going to move it with a quarter snapping like this and up to the top right there i'm going to color mine a light gray like this on metal but that's completely up to you what you call these of course you can have it white gray bright pink whatever you want you can build your screens like of course you or, or everything that i use in all my tutorials pretty much as much as i can are primitives which means you can change the material and you can change the colors so what we're going to do right here is we've obviously placed that one right there we're going to bring that down place another one right there bring that here place that there bring that up and place that there and as you can see we've now got this lovely little outline right here actually i've just realized the one that we do actually does use these thicker ones right here i think at least i i don't know yeah okay never mind they do use the thicker ones for some reason i thought they used the thinner ones but obviously actually no they do use the thinner but never mind i've just done it wrong over there <laughs> but we're just gonna move this back over here sorry about that guys and then what we're going to do is on the top here we're gonna bring this up rotate it round and then we're actually going to go into no snapping right here just to make this a little bit easier we're gonna line that up with just the edge right there we're gonna bring it up like so so it's just in line like that and then of course we're just gonna bring that over so it obviously connects up into there and that's the actual outside frame of our screen right there next then what we're going to do is we're going to do this actual base right here as you can see now i'm doing a slightly different design because you can see this one's a little bit thicker but i'm actually going for a bit of a thinner design right here uh, because I think I actually did it wrong on there by accident. So, yeah. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to grab our bar. And actually, it's going to be easy if we just come out of precision build mode here. And we're going to just chuck our bar in one of these right here. Of course, we're going to go into precision build mode again. And we're just going to place that in like that. And then we're going to go into our snapping. Go a quarter. Actually, no, not a quarter. I reckon we go about a 0 0.1 right there on our custom snapping. And we just bring that out like that. And then like that. And then there you go, people. Oops, that's the wrong color. And then we're just going to paint that like that. And there you go, guys. You've got a lovely screen right there. But now that we've actually got that, and of course, we want to actually sort out our screen. So we're going to grab this right here by just clicking Crawl Shift and clicking on it in the picker. And we're just going to bring this just forward a tiny bit like so. And we're just going to go around here. And we're going to rotate that one round like that. And bring that in like that. And there we go. Now, in terms of actually getting our sequences right here, I'm just going to trick our sequencer and our timer right here just to make my life just a little bit easier right here. Although, of course, I recommend hiding these away somewhere because you don't really want them here. So what we're going to do right here is that down in the description, I've chucked a bunch of different decals down there that you can use as well as the saves to all of these decals, which I'll go for a little bit later. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to put these basic welcome. We hope you enjoy your stay things in right here. Although, of course, if you skip through to the to, uh, skip through a little bit uh, after this if you, this is the only screen you want I'm going to show you how to make your own decals yourself so all we're going to do here is we're going to click change image and I, and then just add by ID and chuck in that ID right there that I'm going to leave down in the description and then we're just going to paste that in right there and as you'll see oh it's upside down which is something that I actually hoped would happen because that means that I can actually show you how to fix this so if you paste it in and it's upside down that means that you've got it a bit wrong here so you can see here that this is currently upside down. So we're actually going to rotate this one round. Now what I recommend doing is moving out like this just temporarily and seeing is that fixed? No. So then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it round like that. 
And there you go, you can see that that's now all completely fixed right there. And this is a problem that I myself have had many times while actually trying to do these flags. And it's just something you kind of have to deal with a little bit because it's a little hard to tell which way the flags are going and which way is going to work and which one's not. But you can see there now, we can chuck that in. And then after that, guys, we can click add slash duplicate settings. Chuck that right there. Run around, click add slash duplicate settings right there. Make these all five seconds on the time like this, five seconds on the time like this, and then we're just going to click a duplicate like that, click that like that, and then we've got all our sequences in. And then now all we need to do is chuck all our images again in, which again, they're all going to be down below. If you need any of these images, if you don't want, I want to make your own. Obviously, these work. They do have a slight little watermark in the bottom right corner. Um, for me, obviously, because you know I did make these, so I think it's my, you know, I think I deserve a little. Uh, watermark as you can see right there um, uh, but except from that these are just pretty basic um, you know very uh, generic signs right here which you can use in any park really if you're not very good with your uh, you know if you're not very good with graphic design or anything like that these will work in pretty much most cases but yeah once we've actually changed all the images right here we then all we need to do is just go over to our timer add that on like that change this period activity to 10 seconds and there you go you'll now see that in just a second here hopefully this will start going around now um you can change these to whatever time you want i did five seconds just because for these images that we're using right here five seconds is about long enough but if you've got a, 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 something that's got a bit more information on it then i very highly recommend that you add it for a little bit of lot a little bit longer or something like that but that's completely up to you you decide what you need to do there so next guys we're going to move on to this slightly bigger screen right here so first of all what we're going to do guys is we're going to get this primitive cuboid and again we're going to color it metal and this light gray right here although obviously that's up to you if you don't want to use that don't worry about it use your own colors but we're just going to go and make sure that our uh, precision build mode is enabled right here and we're just going to shift this along like so and bring this down by one two three like that so it's just sticking out the ground a little bit like so next what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll all the way along because i don't actually know the name of this piece and we're just going to grab uh this right here and we're just going to bring that up and uh actually no it wasn't that. this one right here and this smaller cylinder it's a bit difficult to tell because they're both the same but this primitive cylinder right here we're obviously going to color it to the right color right here in metal and we're going to bring this along like so so it actually lines up you can see we're going to get a bit of glitching but all we need to do is basically bring that along like that and bring it along like that which just means that these edges are a little bit curved i mean it's up to you you can leave them uncurved if you want although this will be like kind of one big square and it'll be a bit thicker but that's completely up to you of course it depends you can change these designs just slightly and they'll make all the difference really which is you know very cool uh, about them i guess <laughs> so we're gonna get this primitive wall right here uh obviously we're gonna color it once again uh in metal and we're just gonna rotate that one round bring it into the middle like so and then bring that up by just one more and then the final little touch we're going to do is we're going to go into our primitives we're going to scroll all the way along like so just once again until we find that lovely uh piece right here we'll rotate it around bring it up i recommend going on to no snapping and then just line it up so that it kind of curves it off on the top and there you go guys that's pretty much everything in except from of course we haven't actually got our decals in so we're going to scroll across here uh, again you just use crawl shift and click in the picker tool like that to just get this and i'm just going to go into others right here um image panels and i'm just going to bring this down to the bottom like so i'm going to rotate it around and it should automatically sit right if you've done this right and there you go. Don't forget to enable transparency on this one because if not, then you'll get some weird glitchy edges there. But yeah, that's basically everything done. And now we're going to do the exact same thing that we did last time. So I'm actually just going to rush through this here. Um, uh, so, well, I say I'm going to rush through this. I'm just going to do a little time lapse here. So, well, actually, not even time lapse. I'm just going to cut here, guys. So uh, I'm just going to get this done here and I'll be back in a second. I'm a believer. Hey, without a chase. Da -da -da. And there we go, guys. That's now done there. You can see this is all moving around lovely every five seconds or so. One thing to just keep in mind is, obviously, for this one, you need to choose these square ones. So you can see right here, screen, uh, screen square right here is what you need to change instead of the uh, flag ones like this. And same with this one, which I'll show you in just a second. Just keep in mind that you need to actually put the right ones or it'll get stretched and it won't quite look right. Anyway, moving on to our last one right here before we get to show you how to make custom decals. We're just going to grab a bit of ceiling right here 
here. You don't need to do this, but I'm just doing this to make everything a lot easier. I'm just going to bring sub by one, two, three, like so. Again, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this because obviously this one is supposed to be like mounted onto a ceiling like this, obviously, you know. So just keep that in mind that this is supposed to be a ceiling one, although I'm sure you can work out a different way. You could probably add like a pole to this and make it kind of like a, uh, like a, sort of like a uh, street light but with a screen on it or something like that but I'm just going to use in this application just a little roof right here just because it's easier so then what we're going to do guys is we're going to go into our primitives and actually we're just going to search poles here just so I can show you this a bit better we're just going to grab this fin pole right here we're going to make it grey we're going to change this to metal and then we're going to bring that up like so and then of course what we're going to do is just move this across like that and like that and then what we're going to do, people, is we're going to scroll across until we find this one right here. We're going to go onto a half snapping. We're going to rotate that around. And then we're just going to make sure that this lines up like so with the edge of that using no snapping. And then come over to here, line that up with no snapping. And then place one in the middle to connect that all up. And then you can see right there, people, that we've already got our poles in. I mean, this one's a very simple one. It only has a couple of pieces to it. It's just, you know, that you have to line things up perfectly, which is a bit of a pain. But you can see right there, it's got this kind of curved little edge at the bottom and the poles either side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our image panels, just these simple image panels like this, not a flag, just this one. We're going to bring it up and we're going to go into our uh, uh, precision build mode. We're going to click enabled and we're just going to bring this back a little bit like so. Rotate that around and we're just going to bring that back just a little bit like so. Just make sure there's a little edge around it like that, just so it looks fairly normal. And then of course you need to set your screens right here to screen wide welcome and on the same here. Now again, I I've already been through this uh, well, on the first one, so I'm just going to cut right here and get this all done. So I'll see you all in a second. So there we go, people. There's your three different screens right there on how to basically build them. Again, for this one right here, just make sure that you're using the actual wide decal instead of the square one or the flag one, because if not, then it'll get stretched or squished or something like that. So just keep that in mind when you're, you know, obviously applying your decals right here. But that's basically everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into paint.net right here because that's the program that I use to make all these decals. And also it's a free program which you can download. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that and I'm gonna show you how to do the decals in there. So guys, welcome to paint.net. This is a program that I use to make pretty much all of my decals because it's simple, it doesn't overcomplicate stuff and you don't really need it, um, you know, for, you don't really need the stuff in like Photoshop for example even though I have it as you can see down here you don't really need Photoshop for this sort of stuff right here so anyway, Paint Donut is a free program. I'll leave a link to it down in the description if I remember uh, to download it. If you want to get Paint Donut, it has basically everything you'll need for this tutorial. And that's what I'm going to be using right here, seeing as it's a free software. And it basically works for everything you're going to need right here. So you can see that you've uh, I've already got all the things up here, actually, from the little decals that I just made in there. And I'm going to just show you how to do this. Now, what the, the, the good thing is right here, guys, is I'm actually going to link all of these saves right here. I can't actually find the saves. But if I go open right here, I'm sure I can get those saves for us right here. And I'm going to leave this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. These three saves right here, I'm just going to close everything else down here just so it makes it a little bit easier for ourselves right here, just to show you what's going on here. Um, but you can see, yeah, I'm going to leave these in the description on a Google Drive. If I remember again, uh, I might forget this honestly, but I'm going to try my best to remember. And you can see here, these are the free ones that we can that we have right here with all the three different layers. You can see, we've got the welcome sign right there. We've got the background, and of course, we've got my little thingy right there. Um, and this is basically just mainly to give you the sizes right here, because obviously, you know, um, the sizes are something that needs working out. Now you'll see these are a bit weird. It's only it's 640 by 640 instead of like a normal number, like a thousand by a thousand. But that's just because that's what this background was but basically guys what you can do is you can just go to the internet right here and you can just search up for example here maybe a pattern or something like that and then you can maybe you know get something from here i don't know what you'll get obviously that is very trippy right there but you can get a pattern right here put it onto any of these different decals right here and write something on top so for example if i was just to make a quick little square one right here i'll just show you this right here all you basically need to do is get a pattern offline, which, um, I don't know, let's see here. Uh, I kind of like this pattern, sure, why not? We're just going to copy it, we're going to paste that on top, that's far too big, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go into here, uh, give it a second, and we're just going to resize this right here. Um, and then what we can do right here, as you'll see guys, is just shove that onto there, um, write something on top, so actually what I might do is I might, uh, I don't know, write something in a black color like this, like 
welcome. Uh, something like that. <laughs> uh, and then there you go, guys. You've got a little bit of a welcome thing right here. Now, this one isn't brilliant, honestly, because this color scheme is a little bit of a pain in the backside for what I'm trying to do here. But you still get the point, guys. This is how you can do stuff like this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's hideous. But this is how you can do it right here, guys. And then all you need to do is obviously save this just by clicking save as right here. And then once you've saved that right there, you can go. Uh, make sure you save it as a PNG or a JPEG. You can go into your develop thing right here. Click choose file. And then, of course, you can upload your files right here. And then use it in the game. And that's basically all you need to know about making decals. I mean, if you want any, you know... Uh, tips on how to make beta, 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 stuff like that. I'm probably going to make a video at some point about how to make custom decals, which will go a little bit more into depth about how I design my decals to make sure they work in the game really well and you can see everything. But, I mean, this is just touching the surface right here just so you get an idea and just so you know how to make them in general and what program I use. But, I mean, except from that, guys, that's basically everything you need to know. So, except from that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please do leave a like and subscribe. Here's all the lovely Patreon supporters, Discord server boosters, and our lovely Twitch subscribers. You can become a Patreon at patreon.com slash cozy for literally just £1 a month. And you get early access to videos, shout-outs, you get to friend me on Roblox, you get sneak peeks, you get a custom on Discord, so, so much. Um, and, obviously, you can become a Twitch subscriber at Twitch and uh, boost my server on Discord. But, you know, guys, that's basically everything for today. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe, and I'll see you all in another one, hopefully. Goodbye!